In our continued discussion of carboxylic acids and their derivatives, we ought to uh, speak about the structure of them. <clears throat> and so we know that carboxylic acids contain a carbonyl group bonded to a Z group, which we would define as an atom more electronegative than carbon. Z here would not equal a hydrogen or another hydrocarbon chain. That would be an aldehyde and a ketone respectively, which have distinctly different reactivities than carboxylic acids in their derivatives. <clears throat> so for example, when Z equals OH, uh, that would be the structure of a carboxylic acid. And so the carbon-oxygen sigma bond shown here uh, we're looking at this edge on so that we can see the sigma plane canted and the p orbitals perpendicular or orthogonal to the sigma plane. Both the carbon and oxygen atoms of the carbonyl group are sp2 hybridized and so there are three sp2 hybridized orbital, orbitals that overlap to form a sigma bond with the carbon and then the leftover p orbital overlaps with the p orbital of the oxygen to form the pi bond of the carbonyl. For oxygen, the leftover sp2 hybrid orbitals that are not sigma bonded to the carbonyl carbon are those in which that have lonely pairs of electrons. So if we were to examine our molecular orbital description of the carbonyl group, we would say that it's CSP2 to OSP2 sigma followed by the leftover CP to OP orbitals that overlap to form our pi bond. Now in terms of the uh, structure of a carboxylic acid and their derivatives, we would say that the carbonyl along with the oxygen, alpha carbon, and the Z group uh, lie in the same plane, that is to say that they are trigonal planar. Uh, the carbonyl has trigonal planar uh, molecular geometry with approximate bond angles of around 120 degrees. We can also discuss the carboxylic acid and the derivatives resonance, dipolar resonance structures, where in the first instance we can take the pi electrons of the carbonyl and move them up to be a lone pair of electrons on oxygen. This first resonance contributor highlights the fact that we can place a partial or we can place a formal positive charge at the carbonyl carbon and a negative formal charge at the oxygen of the carbonyl and this is nice because it highlights the reactivity at the carbon namely the fact that this carbon atom is electrophilic and nucleophiles will add into the carbon in our nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions. When Z equals oxygen or nitrogen, so for carboxylic acids, esters, and amides, we can also take a lone pair of electrons and form a carbon-oxygen or carbon-nitrogen double bond. Uh, so in total we can draw three resonance structures for carboxylic acid and their derivatives. Typically we, we uh, limit this to amides, esters, and acids. Uh, generally, we do not speak of acid halides having resonance structures uh, where Z equals chlorine. The overlap between the 3p orbital and the 2p orbital of the carbonyl carbon is rather weak. So if we were to draw the resonance contributors for uh, a carboxylate ester, so for example, we can draw a methyl ester we can show that the lone pair of electrons on our Z group here, methoxy of the methyl ester, we can use two arrows at a time to show the resonance contributor where the O alkyl bond now forms a carbon-carbon double, a carbon-oxygen double bond and places the positive formal charge on the alkoxy oxygen and a negative formal charge on the carbonyl oxygen. Similarly, we can do the same thing with the carboxylic acid, where again we can 
pull electron density from the OH and draw the dipolar resonance structure here as well. And then lastly, we can do the same thing with amides. Here, let's just consider a primary amide. And again, you can show all three resonance structures where you first draw the oxocarbocation, or actually we would call it an ase oxocarbocation, highlighting the electrophilicity at the carbonyl carbon. And then we can pull electron density from the eastern nitrogen to also show this significant resonance contributor. It is this dipolar resonance form of amides that biochemists usually uh, describe as partial double bond character. And this is nice uh, because also nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen, so we ought to say that this resonance contributor uh, would be more significant than the carboxylic acids and the esters. Overall, if we wanted to depict a hybrid for this sort of scenario, a resonance hybrid, we would show that at any given point in time we can draw a carbon Z double bond and a carbon oxygen double bond of the carbonyl group and so we can place a delta negative here a delta positive of the carbonyl carbon and a delta uh, positive at the Z group. Overall this unit is net neutral but here we could describe the resonance hybrid of all three resonance contributors.